Ann Feldman here from TT for T, and today I am going to show you how to take a Google Doc and make it pinnable. So first of all, start with your Google Doc, and I just went into my Google Drive and pulled up a lesson plan that I had made last year. Let's say I'd like to share this on Pinterest. The first thing I have to do is make it available on the web, and Google is amazing at making things easy to share. Under the file menu, simply click, and if you notice down here, it says publish to the web. Click on publish to the web, and you will have a couple choices here. It says automatically republish when changes are made, and I really like that because if you do make a change, what is reflected on the web is exactly what you have done on your Google Doc. And then all you do is hit start publishing, and yes, I would like to publish this, Notice it gives me embed code and also a document link. That is key to be able to pin this on Pinterest. So all I'm going to do here is copy this URL and then close. Now the second thing you're going to need when you go to pin is you need an image to pin. Now for example this document really doesn't have an image to pin, but you can solve that issue by simply taking a screenshot of something on your page. So in this case, I'm going to hold down on my Mac, Shift, Command, and 4 to do a print screen and then simply drag over something that I could pin and then let go. That screenshot goes to my desktop. So this is kind of phase one, getting our lesson plan ready for the web with our Google Doc. So my Google Doc is now a link, and I also now have an image, and again I did the image with Shift-Command-4 and took a picture of that section of my screen. Now on to Phase 2. Great job creating a URL for your Google Doc. Now Phase 2 is linking that doc to a pin in Pinterest. This will actually take two more steps. So let me show you how to do that. Simply come in and click on the plus on your pin board, and we are going to upload a pin. Now you'll have to choose that file, which is the screenshot you took, and I have it just sitting right here, from your computer, and then you decide to pick a board. Now I'm going to pick Intergen class, because this is a lesson plan for my intergenerational computer class. And I'm going to add a short description that this is the week one lesson plan. And I'm going to click on pin it. Now that's part one. So if I click to look at this pin, I go into my intergen class board, and this is the pin that I just dropped. And if I click on it and click again, all you see is this lovely image, my screenshot that I took. And unfortunately, that's not going to tell anybody how to do this lesson plan. So I have to do one more step. Notice when I come in here and I look at my pin, there's a little edit button. By clicking on the edit button, you'll see another field called source, where you can paste in the link to that Google Doc and then save the changes. Now, when you click on this image, it will take you to that link and it takes you to the link of that Google Doc that you published. So that is one way to create a pin to a lesson plan. Thanks for watching TT for T.